Hi everyone, Craig Rispin here. Welcome to the EAN's webinar series, Automate Your Success, Technology That Actually Works. And I don't know where you found this video, maybe it's on the YouTube channel or on the Facebook page, but if you'd like to see previous recordings of the webinar series, you can go to executiveassistant.com slash webinar series, and also you can register for upcoming ones as well. You'll see the topics there, or be able to play the previous ones, or replay this one uh, in uh, when it's uploaded in a couple days. And our topic for this session is time-saving technology, a technology and idea that's dear to my heart, uh, something I've been focusing on in my practice to be able to save time and automate things or maybe outsource them. And so I look like a hero to my clients. And you know, one of the best ways to do this was through some uh, browser extensions, Chrome browser extensions that will rock your world, make your life much better. It will save you time, make you more productive. But just before we get into those fantastic Chrome extensions, do you know how to install one? You just go to Chrome, find extensions in the menu, and then you can click at the bottom, get more extensions. Or if, if you're logged in with your account in the Google Chrome, and you type Google Chrome extensions, you'll find uh, this page. You can click on the left and then search for extensions uh, here. And let's start off with one extension that's so important. Uh, you've got to be super secure these days you really need one last password ever to remember because we can't keep them in our heads, can we? And just a little aside here before we get into the extensions, it's so important because so many, so many websites have been hacked recently. It's in the news weekly and you really need to know whether you've been pwned. Do you know what being pwned means? It means a hack, it's hacker speak, comes from the gamer world where they own your account. I pwned you. Uh, you know, the young people playing games now will say instead of I won, you've been pwned. Well, uh, Have I Been Pwned is a website where this great security researcher, whose name is Troy Hunt, he's an Aussie, in fact, world renowned security researcher, uh, set up this website because there were so many breaches. And you can type in your email address or username and see whether one of the websites where you have registered has uh, been revealed, uh, your private details been revealed. Now, hopefully, you, if, your webs, if your email address or username uh, has been in one of these breaches, like the massive one from Target in the United States, over 300 million uh, uh, mailing addresses and credit card numbers and phone numbers, or one of the others, uh, the Sony hack. Well, if you use the same password at that website on others, then they can get to that one. So there's a great service called LastPass that installs as a Chrome extension, will help you save your passwords. And let's have a look at LastPass. It really is that fast. It can automatically, let's say you start your day, you need to log into five or six different uh, accounts. You could open up all those tabs. You could click the option to log you in automatically, and boom, you're into all your accounts. Now, two things that I want to recommend to you if you already use it or if you're just setting it up, please set up multi-factor authorization. These multi-factor options allow you to use a, an application like Google Authenticator you can save on your phone and it will give you a code. So when you first log in to LastPass, you type in your email address and your LastPass password, but it prompts you to pull out your phone and type in those extra codes. And so that way, if, uh, if anyone happens to find out what your LastPass 
password is, they won't have your phone. They won't be able to get in. It's a little bit of inconvenience, but you only have to do it once as you're logging in. And it is a very, very secure because they'd have to have your password and your device. And that's not very likely to happen. Also, another feature, don't have a slide for this, but you should be looking it up, is also an emergency contact. So uh, these issues have been coming up where for whatever reason uh, somebody uh, can't get access to their account, maybe they're in hospital or something worse than that, and how do you get into your bank? How do you get to those documents? Where are those details saved in, say, Evernote? And so now you can set up an emergency contact. And if you haven't logged in for a set number of days um, or an emergency, uh, your emergency contact can get access to your account. So set that up, emergency contact, and multi-factor uh, options if you haven't already uh, done that on your last pass. Another fantastic uh, Google Chrome uh, extension is uBlock Origin. uBlock Origin uh, strips out those tra tracking cookies and uh, other uh, nasty things that sometimes load on web pages, like uh, ads that take over the full screen. And uh, you wouldn't believe how many, say, news and other social websites have so many scripts that are, are tracking you from one, one web page to another. So smart operators uh, load in uBlock Origin that allows you to turn off those uh, trackers or those ads on uh, websites. And the smart uh, internet citizens out there uh, turn this on. It has a simple panel on the left-hand side. That's just a simple panel. So you can see uh, how many scripts I have saved uh, uh, since install haven't loaded. 721,000 uh, scripts. And on this page, there's uh, a 24 uh, percent and you you might look at some of these you go well hold on a second I was at the ABC site why are they tracking me at Wired or at Adobe or Amazon or what is Chartbeat so you can turn those off and it makes a huge difference as well on load times each one of those ads is a script a series of things that uh, are loading into memory and uh, it slows down your web browsing. Just have a look at this. Have a look at this uh, International New York Times web page here. The, almost the top half of the page is an ad. And if you turn on uh, uBlock Origin, you, uh, that's what it looks like. Big difference before and after. Craig. Before. And after. Yes, Kimberly, did we have a question from the crowd? We do. We have a question from Jade, and her question is, can you put uBlock Origin on your iPad? You can. You can put uBlock Origin on your iPad. Uh, the new version of Safari allows you to install these extensions. So if you go into the App Store and look for uh, uBlock, you'll find it in the App Store. There are uh, other uh, script blockers. Uh, out there as well, but my favorite is uBlock uh, Origin. It is really, really good. Um, just have a look at the age. Here's the age. See all those yellow ads uh, there? You know what they're advertising? <laughs> the yellow pages. <laughs> and uh, this is after, so before and after. And here's Yahoo TV. I just wanted to look up when a particular uh, TV t uh, show was playing and look at this ad it takes up almost everything before the fold turn off you block origin and that's what it looks like now I if you've heard anything about ad blockers and script blockers uh, they are a little bit controversial with websites that make their revenues from ads I'm look I'm happy for you to display me ads if you're providing value to me but do you have to track me from website to website and see all my behavior and keep on selling me showing me ads for things that I've already purchased I find that really annoying so uh, you can turn it on and off as you want and it will save you a lot of load times uh, the other thing is email boy Email was supposed to save us time, 
<laughs> Boy, does it waste time. Uh, knowledge uh, workers, uh, the people that are working with uh, ideas and processes in business, they all tell me that they're spending more and more time on email and not so much spam. We've blocked a lot of those spam through great filters on Office 365 and Google Apps, but it's the bacon. You know what bacon is? Oh yes, it is a tasty treat, but it's also things that you've subscribed to, but you really don't want to read anymore or just don't have the time. And uh, who gave them permission when you bought something to send you 50 emails afterwards? Unroll Me allows you to quickly unsubscribe or batch handle emails as they come in. So you can unsubscribe with a single click. You don't have to go to a web page and confirm and give them a reason why. You just, a single click will unroll you, will uh, get uh, unsubscribe you from those emails. Also, maybe there's some you want to keep, but you would like them in a batch form. They can roll them up together and show you all the messages from Groupon in a week or a month. It is fantastic. Unroll.me. And they've just come out with a new uh, app, a new version of the Google uh, Chrome plugin, and also an app for your phone that allows you, it's sort of like uh, some of those dating apps, uh, maybe like uh, Tinder or Are You Hot or Not? Do you remember that one where you swipe left or swipe left? Well, now you're doing this with your email. If you swipe left, you unsubscribe instantly. Have a look at this. It's incredible. We're talking probably 10,000 emails. Oh God, do I open it? When you try and unsubscribe from something, it's like this t maze. What I need is more time. I feel like I'm drowning in it. Unsubscribe, unsubscribe. Unsubscribe, unsubscribe. Unsubscribe, <laughs> see ya. Unsubscribe, yeah, let's keep that. It's kind of fun, it's like a game. Oh man, this is cool. This uh, makes it really easy. Ah, it's just that easy? Come on. I love it. Unroll.me. Uh, also, I see people doing this. I know some of you have. Uh, they want to get something from their device, an iPad or their Android device or their iPhone. They want to get it to the computer or they want to get something from the computer to their mobile device. And what do some people do that are not in the know, they don't hang out with the cool kids that all use push bullet. They email it to themselves, have to check their email, then maybe save it into Dropbox. Oh, that's such a waste of time. All the hipsters use push bullet and you should use it too. It allows you to load the app on each of your devices maybe all of your devices. And if there's something you want to send to all of your devices, so you've got it backed up or share full photos or documents, you can do that with just a simple uh, click. It works in uh, Google Chrome and all the other web browsers as an extension. It will also on Android allow you to reply to uh, text messages. Don't even have to put you pull your mobile out of your bag or purse or pocket, you can just type a reply straight from your computer. You can see your notifications. This is on Android only. There's, it's coming to iOS, but as a notification pops up on your phone, don't have to get out of your bag. It pops up on your computer. It is really fantastic, and it's what all the hipsters are doing. Are you doing it too? You've got to get push bullet so you don't waste that time emailing things to yourself. That's so square. Sending files with the Push Bullet browser extension is really quite easy. To get started, click on our browser extension icon and then click the arrow in the top right to pop it out. Once you've got it popped out, select where you want to send the file, which might be a friend or one of your devices, and then simply drag and drop a file onto the window and away it goes. You can also send files to a chat window if you already have one open. So here I've got a chat open with 
a friend of mine. And sending a file is just a matter of dropping a picture or other file onto the window. That's all there is to it. It is really that easy. And I tell you what, uh, I was showing this to one of my clients that's in the real estate business, and they said, hold on a second, Craig. Uh, could you send it to other people's uh, devices? And I said, sure, as long as they've, uh, you know, connected with you, they're friends with you in Pushbullet. It's not just your own devices. You could send it to a group. And they said, oh, this would be fantastic. Whenever we get a new listing, we email it to people, but they're so overwhelmed with email. It would be great that the moment we have a new listing, we could just push it out to all of our reps' phones. And uh, this is how they're using it uh, within uh, their corporation at uh, that real estate company. The next Sending. thing I want to talk to you about is automating your mobile. The, these are apps and some uh, are browser plugins, but the first one that uh, is an app, and it's one of my most favorite apps that allows you to set up little programs on your uh, iOS uh, device, uh, call, and it's called Workflow and you're going to love it. It will let you set up uh, workflows, as they call it, step by step. They're sort of like Excel macros, where you can download something from a web page, turn it into a PDF, and email it to your team, all with a single click. Or in this one, take three photos, do, 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 make it a GIF, have a quick look at that, and then send it as a message. Uh, it can do all sorts of things, get access to opening an app, making a call, setting the brightness, getting directions, saving a file, post to Facebook, all sorts of, well, as they say, endless possibilities. And you can even make your own shortcuts, well, your own apps that you can save on your home screen. So with a single click, you can say, uh, yes, honey, I'm on the way home and I haven't forgotten the milk with just a single click it even send an update how long it will be until you get home to get started with workflow load it on your iOS device check out the gallery there's lots of workflows already saved in there to do all sorts of amazing things then install it as an extension I or the new iOS uh, allows you to pop up at the bottom of any app and run things as an extension and you'll pop that up and you'll see a list of, of workflows where you can take action within apps not just uh, from the finder uh, here is the founder just about 18 months ago talking about the uh, the first version of workflow and what you can do with it and since that time millions of people have downloaded it and are they're automating their iOS device have a look at this we're here with Workflow, an app that lets you automate the things that you do on your tablet or phone every day. So let's go straight into the uh, actual process of creating Workflow. Yeah, sure. So this is a Workflow where we're going to get the next couple things on your calendar, um, and then we're going to get directions to the next appointment. Uh, so this is pretty useful because we're always heading different places. So I just drag these actions into the Workflow and hit Run. Now it's going to show me the next things on my calendar, and when I tap one of them, it'll pop up Google Maps or Apple Maps and get directions to where you're headed. So what kind of actions are available? We have a wide variety of stuff. Some of them are just like totally inside the app, like accessing your calendar and interacting with the clipboard and posting to Facebook and uh, making PDFs and zips and all these different things. And then some of them integrate um, with other apps or, or just with other services like Facebook or Evernote or Dropbox or all these different things. Wow, okay. So uh, let's say that that's a little intimidating for you. Is it possible to maybe look at like pre-made workflows? Yeah, yeah. So we have this thing called the Workflow Gallery. It's kind of like an app store for workflows where you can just go discover things that other people have put together. Okay. Um, so here I'll show you. Uh, this is a workflow, this one's pretty handy, that uh, gets how long it's going to take for you to get home and then lets you share that with someone. Uh, so I'll just grab that all right there it is and then what the other thing that's really cool is any workflow that you make or, or get you can add as its own app on the home screen okay um, so I'll just show you how to do that so you tap add to home screen it opens in Safari hit add to home screen here and now we've just made this new app okay so um, then what does that look like when it runs from the home screen sure yes yeah. so you just tap it 
and it'll pop into workflow and just run that workflow right away. So it says where we are and how long it'll take to get home. Oh, wow. Cool. So, you know, with iOS 8 now, there's these extensions that let you do things within apps and kind of take advantage of other apps, like when, while you're browsing the web or reading or listening to something. Uh, do you guys take advantage of those at all? Yes. We have a pretty sweet action extension uh, that lets you run a workflow from the context of any other app. Okay. Um, so here I am in Safari. I'm on TechCrunch.com. Maybe I want to make a PDF out of this website. So I can hit Run Workflow in, right in Safari. And now I get the list of workflows that are compatible with the type of input. So uh, I can hit Make PDF. It's going to take the website just super quickly, make a PDF out of it, and open that in iBooks. So now you can see this PDF we just made. And it's got like every single page of Scrolling through the account. entire home page of the site. Yeah. You know, this is really cool on the tablet. And you know, I can really see it being neat for power users. Uh, what if you've only got an iPhone? Can you take advantage of it then? Yeah, yeah. So uh, we developed Workflow as a universal app so that you can run it on your iPhone and iPad. Uh, so you can see I have my Workflow app right here. And it does everything the iPad version does. So you can look at your workflows. You can make them. It's got a slightly different uh, interface to do it, but it's pretty cool. And you can even you know, check out the gallery, download workflows, and run the action extensions, and just everything you can do with the iPad version. Okay. Cool. And guess what? They recently came out with a Apple Watch workflow app where you can save little glances. Uh, you need to do something like uh, send your home ETA. You can just hit the little digital crown, scroll up, hit action, and uh, you can do it straight from your Apple Watch. It's uh, fantastic. All right, I'm going to take a little break here and answer some of the questions Kimberly was telling me uh, my, um, my, that there are some questions in the chat room. So we can, uh, let's close the countdown timer because we're in, uh, in session. And let's see what questions have been popping up in uh, Q&A. Thank you, Kimberly. Kimberly, could you just copy those uh, Q&As over into the chat window? For some reason, I've gotten logged out of the Q&A for some reason. I don't know why. So uh, just cut and paste them into the chat for, for me, if you could do that while I cover the next little bit. Uh, or Craig, I could read them to you. Oh, great. That'd be great, Kimberly. Could you do that, please? Okay, first question from Jenny. Are these apps available for Android as well? More, oh. specific, more specifically, the apps you mentioned before Push Bullet. Uh, yes, okay. So the, all of the Chrome browser extensions like LastPass, like Push Bullet, are available cross-platform. They run on multiple devices. They run on Android, iOS. They run on Mac and PC because they run uh, in a, a web browser or they have an app. And that's true for uh, LastPass and uh, PushBullet and uh, uh, also the uBlock Origin. Or there will be uh, similar apps. And to uh, give you a resource beyond, besides just telling you that, there's a great website that everybody should know about. Uh, whenever I mention something, you go, oh, Craig, I don't have any iOS devices. You're talking about workflow. What's an alternative to that? There's actually a website called um, alternative2.net, and you can type in the name of an app that uh, you would like on your platform, and people will tell you uh, what an, an alternative would be, and it would give you reviews uh, whether people like them or not. And so, for instance, if I want to replace a work uh, flow, uh, here's workflow, and I would like to find alternatives. And here is one uh, alternative that works on Mac and Windows and Linux, and it's also open source. And uh, I don't see an, all, uh, an Android version of that yet, but I'm sure there'll be one coming along. So anything that I mention, you say, oh, I don't have that on iOS, Craig. I don't have an iOS device. Just type in the name of the app, and I'll, Alternative 2 will show you an alternative. 
hope that answered the question. Kimberly, have you got another one for me? I have two other quick questions. Um, Isabella asked, when you're sending out things to someone, do they, does the recipient need push bullet as well? Yes, push bullet requires that you have an app on devices like iPads or Android devices. Uh, on Macs or PCs. It's just a Chrome extension. It loads in as a Chrome uh, extension, but it does require a push bullet app and for them to be logged in so you know who they are as well. Okay, last question. Um, Sue's asking, is this Workflow Manager? She was looking up um, she said, having a look now, nothing just called workflow. There are a number of workflow apps. So she just want clarification. Yeah, so this particular app is called Workflow. There are lots of workflow softwares out there, uh, but this one is Workflow by DeskConnect, DeskConnect Inc. And um, it's one of the most popular apps in the App Store for automating your uh, iOS device. I'll be making recommendations for some other ones that are cross-platform as well, but this one, uh, if you're an iOS user and you don't have this on your home screen, I think you're just nuts. It is that good. And uh, I've shown this now for almost 18 months, and when I run into people that have loaded it months ago, they said, Craig, look at this app we designed. And now when our reps, they wouldn't fill in their call reports as they went to call on doctors, and we created up this workflow. So they pull out their device, they snap a picture of the doctor's nameplate, they take a picture of the samples that they're, leave, they, that they're leaving their drugs or medical devices, and then it automatically types into our Salesforce app. And they built that all well with workflow, and 6,000 of their reps are using it. I love to see when my clients take it to the next uh, level. Let's look at some other things with the times that we have remaining, and we'll take another break in a little bit and get uh, Kimberly to read off some of the chats. Don't know why that um, Q&A window logged me out for some reason, but we'll have a look at that. Um, hey, guys. Have you been dealing with bad traffic lately? I know I have. We've had sort of traffic Armageddon in, city, in Sydney with uh, just a small accident backing up things two to four hours. And my go-to navigator, although Google Maps is very good, there's a company that they bought because they thought it was even better than their own. They bought them for over a billion dollars. It's called Waze. Do you use Waze? W-A-Z-E. And this will really save you time if you're going from one place to another and your, the way that you're used to going is blocked. And what it does is it connects you with the other Wazers that are on the road that will alert you to things like, oh, there's a mobile traffic uh, cam up ahead, or this is the price of petrol near us. And uh, Waze is absolutely fantastic time saver for avoiding uh, traffic snarls. And I've been using this a lot when getting out of Melbourne. I travel to Melbourne once a month and always heading to the airport on Friday at about 3 p.m. Traffic is nuts. And I'll say to the driver, Waze says this way is eight minutes faster. Let's try that. Have a look at Waze. Welcome. You just became a Wazer. That means you're never alone on the road anymore. That's because you're now connected to the largest community of drivers on the planet who share real-time traffic information and live road alerts to help everyone bypass traffic, save time, and gas money on their commute. So just drive with the Waze app open, and you're already contributing a ton of traffic info that helps your fellow drivers. You can also actively report events you see while driving. All hands-free, of course. Waze's big brain rounds up all the real-time info shared by the community and gives you the fastest route to your destination every time, even rerouting you midway if there's a better route. Waze learns the routes you prefer to frequent destinations and factors them in, too. Connect to Facebook to meet up, arrange pickups, and see a live status of your friends and colleagues arriving to an event or shared destination. Even Waze's maps update in real time. The community keeps them ever improving. Hey, you can get involved in map editing, too. The bigger your community, the better Waze gets. So, spread the word, because when drivers work together, the road ahead gets a little brighter. 
ways is really fantastic. I turned on notifications so it can give me alerts. It will tell me to leave for my appointment a little bit earlier because there's a traffic jam. And I tell you what, it is a fantastic tool. Also, a great tool for automating your mobile, saving time. Uh, on top of a workflow is one, an oldie but a goodie, and it's had a recent update, and it used to be called If This Then That. You can still get to it at ifttt.com, but the new uh, apps for your uh, iOS or Android device, your iPad, Android tablet for uh, even Windows Mobile, your Mac or PC, the apps are called If and Do but you can get them all at ifttt.com. And if you were at the EAN conference a, uh, a couple of years ago, uh, I featured uh, uh, this, and the, the uh, IFTT co TTT community has been growing by leaps and uh, bounds. There are thousands of new recipes for, for connecting. This is a little bit different from workflow, where you're doing things on your iOS device. This is for connecting web apps. So let's say you want to save everything that you post to Instagram into your Dropbox between two online connected um, uh, de depositories. This will actually take action while you sleep. You don't have to run it on your phone. You can set up this action and it will happen or you can trigger it. Trigger it. Uh, maybe you remember if you're a conference, this uh, uh, social savvy uh, gal was talking about how she uses it every day to organize her life. Why are you so excited, Amy? Oh, I don't know. I spent the entire Memorial Day weekend watching episodes of Arrested Development. Maybe. Yeah, I did. What's up, socials? Happy Savvy Tuesday. Today I want to talk to you about an app that I am totally in love with. If you are not yet familiar with IFTTT.com, which stands for If This Then That, get ready to have your mind blown. Let's just call it IFT. IFT brings together different apps APIs so that you can create these recipes to get things done without actually having to manually do it yourself. The recipes are created using different channels. A channel could be your email, it could be Twitter, it could be Dropbox, it could be your phone, it can be SMS text. You have all these different channels to work with and you can somehow bring each of them together to create something amazing to make the internet work for you. Here are just a few examples of how IFT makes me more productive every single day. IFT calls me at the same time every day to say good morning to me and read a motivational message that I've written for myself. If I think of a good idea I don't want to forget, I can call IFT and basically leave a voice memo for myself, which will be emailed to me as well as dictated. Anytime I have a new event on my calendar, I get a text message from IFT letting me know 30 minutes in advance. And every morning after my wake up call, I receive a text with the weather for the day. These are just some of the examples, just some. I mean, there's thousands of ways that you can make channels work for you into these recipes and get things taken care of without having to do it all yourself. IFT is the absolute perfect personal assistant for free. <laughs> yes, for free. Lots of recipes, and if you have downloaded If and Do, uh, the If and Do apps, or gone to IFTTT and you haven't updated it lately, there's all sorts of collections like Please see the do recipes for the workplace. So for instance, do quickly make a, 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 an event in Google Calendar. Save a receipt to Evernote and mark it as a receipt and send it to my bookkeeper. Upload an image to Google Drive or Office 365 or create a OneNote page with the details of the meeting that I'm in. Lots of recipes for Android. You get some extra functionality, Android users, because you can tie more closely into the operating system that some uh, reason Apple doesn't allow us to do that quite yet. For instance, uh, you can do things like mute your phone when you arrive at work or go into a meeting so you don't forget to remote uh, mute to your phone. Can't do that on iOS yet. Hopefully we'll get an update. Um, message your partner when you leave work. Change your home screen to the latest uh, NASA wallpaper of the day. Um, turn off Wi-Fi when your battery's low automatically. Or would you like to keep all of your text in going and outgoing in a Google spreadsheet uh, for backup? And of course, is there going to be rain tomorrow? There's some special recipes for iOS as well. You don't miss out on those. Check out recipes for iOS. And some of my favorite in 
a healthy lifestyle. So keep a record every time you visit the gym, it knows you, that you're there. So it'll keep a record into a Google Drive or Office 365. Um, tweet when you achieve your daily step goal. I did 10,000 steps. Save your sleep logs to a Google spreadsheet. Maybe you're going to share it with your uh, personal trainer or nu nutritionist. IFTTTT, uh, IFTTT.com. IFT is the app. Do is the app in the app stores. Uh, check that out. Um, how about Grammarly? Boy, this makes sending out emails, writing documents that much faster. It's also a, gr a Chrome plugin. It's absolutely free, but there's a premium plan as well, maybe for students. Automatically uh, senses errors. Much better grammar checking than Microsoft or Wor Word. Uh, it's a really great plugin. I use it all the time. It suggests um, uh, things within my email or even sending a text message. It is really fantastic for checking your grammar. And I know that I think most of us need a little extra course in grammar. How about side notes? Uh, take, uh, if you're in a meeting and people mention a website and they mention something about that website. So for instance, they say, uh, go to HuffPost small business and see that Think Different article that Richard Branson posted. It makes a certain point about what we want to do in our organization. So this is Side Notes, another Chrome plugin, and it allows you to pop out a panel just to the right. It's like annotating you, any website you go to. You might say, Craig said that this is a really great website for manipulating PDFs. And then when you go back to the website, it'll pop out and you go, oh, that's what I wanted to do on that website. It's like a little, just a little sticky note over the top of a website. And meanwhile, while you're typing this, it's saving a document with the link to the website and the notes that you took about it. It's, uh, I love it. Just a little, a little thing that saves you a lot of time. Do you ever have to battle with PDFs? I know I do. There's things that I want to do, and I don't want to have a $1,000 piece of software Acrobat installed on my machine, or I just want to do something quickly. Seja, S-E-J-D-A, helps you manipulate PDFs in all sorts of ways. You can merge documents uh, together. You can shrink them so they're easier to uh, email. You can protect and by the way, unprotect uh, PDFs. You can extract the text and put it into a Word document, and it's all done through an online web app. Nothing to install, no extension here. Uh, you can just go to S-E-J-D-A, S-E-J-D-A, and PDF, and you will find it. Allows you to ma manipulate PDFs, maybe stamp it with confidential, or draft across it, and you don't have to have Acrobat install. Not only does that save you time, it saves you a lot of money. Do you know, many of my clients say, gee, organizing meetings around this place is like herding cats. And then when you get, once you get the internal people scheduled all synchronized, then we've got somebody uh, external in our organization. We need to see when they're available and it just goes nuts. And there's so many online calendars. Um, Craig, I just don't think when I send something from Google, it appears right in Outlook and vice versa. Then what you need is freebusy.com. It synchronizes with all the online calendars. You don't have to create an account and then synchronize your calendar. You just can do it just in 45 seconds. Literally say, I want to set a meeting with Craig. I'm going to synchronize my Office 365 calendar, send him uh, some days that I'm available to meet, and then on my side, I might uh, synchronize it with iCloud or uh, Google uh, Calendar. It really is super, super fast, and nothing to install or account to set up. It doesn't mean that you uh, have to subscribe to another service. It works just within the web browser. Uh, have a look at this. Trying to set up a meeting with people outside your workplace can be like herding cats. But it doesn't have to be like this. Not when FreeBusy is here to help. FreeBusy lets you connect as many of your existing calendars as you like. Then automatically matches your available time slot so that your family, friends, 
customers or business partners can match their free time with yours. And the best thing is, unlike anything out there, you never have to create a new account or start a new calendar. Free Busy works with any calendar you already have and is the only solution that shows and coordinates your free and busy schedule across all your existing calendars and with anyone you choose to. So take 45 seconds to connect your first calendar with Free Busy and save hours of grief hurting cats. Just sign in at freebusy.io. freebusy.io. I'm just going to pause here and ask Kimberly if there's any questions that she can give me from the Q&A box. And we're going to be uh, winding up the formal part of this uh, session in just about three minutes. Uh, but I'm also going to hang around until every single question is answered. And if that takes 15 minutes, we I'll, I'll do that. If it takes five, I'll do that. It'll all be recorded, and you can uh, uh, play it back uh, afterwards. Kimberly, any questions in the chat? No new questions in Q&A. Everybody's uh, sending them to chat now. So oh, uh, as per the request, um, there was a workflow app sync question um, from Andrea earlier. Uh, does workflow sync between iOS devices? Yes, you can send recipes, uh, sorry, workflows, they call them. They don't call them um, uh, recipes, they're workflows in workflow. And uh, you can uh, share them between devices. You have an account, essentially, you're logging into, and you can share your uh, workflows. You could easily do that. Okay, just a couple more with the remaining time that we have. Here's a big idea that you might find challenging. And I brought it up before. Maybe you want to be a superhero. Maybe you already are. But you know, superheroes need sidekicks as well. Do you know about Fancy Hands? Fancy Hands is a group of online VAs that help busy executives. And maybe they would help busy executive assistants. In fact, I know many that do. We, they do little tasks, little things for you uh, on a per task basis. And each one of those tasks can last up to 20 minutes of work. And imagine if you could handball something to somebody while you're in a meeting. You can't really get to it, but you could type into a box, please will you set up uh, reservations using open table at this particular restaurant for four and you don't even have to leave the, the meeting. It's like having a virtual assistant on demand as you need it for you know, what you do. It's a fantastic service and look at the prices. It's incredible. Look, a basic account with five requests a month, you could try it for a month, that works out to be six uh, uh, six dollars per request. Yes, this is U.S. dollars, so add twenty or thirty uh, per percent. But still, the price is ridiculous. And at premier rates, maybe you're going to ask for fifty tasks of twenty minutes each. That gets down to three dollars a request. Wouldn't it be worth trying this? And you know, I mentioned this a number of years ago to one of my clients, and he was a uh, an internal print manager at Cisco. And he was managing all the printers. And he decided that uh, he, he was made redundant, and he went to a free a freelance, a contract position. And he decided that he'd start uh, trying to uh, outsource what he did. Well, he did that for one client. He ended up doing it for 10 because he became a super print manager because he could handle 10 clients at one time. And it was using an idea like this. I know it might be controversial. You might think, well, we couldn't possibly do that. We're dealing with private matters here. Why would we put it out onto the cloud? Well, no, look, there's some things that maybe are private that you uh, are things you meant to get around to, but you just don't have the time. And you could send out three requests, and an hour later they're done, and you didn't have to do a thing and it didn't cost you much money. I know if it could be a controversial idea. What do you think? Chat in the chat box. What do you think about outsourcing what you do to technology, automation, uh, or people as well? Um, do you think that's for you and what you'd like to do in your career become a, a super 
uh, hero. Look, guys, that's the end of the formal session today, but that doesn't mean that uh, I'm not going to hang around. I will hang around to ask, answer any specific questions that you have and how I'm, uh, any specifics that you would have around your role or your company or your industry or your devices. Thank you so much for attending. Do not forget that these sessions run on a regular basis and you need to re-register. And we'd love to have you share this with anybody that you know. Just send them to executiveassistant.com slash webinar series. It's absolutely free. We'd love to have them along. Uh, thanks, everyone, for attending. Really appreciate you coming along. And let's see if there's any specific questions now I can answer. Anything else in the chat box, uh, Kimberly? Unfortunately, it's locked. Yeah, Craig, I'll read, it. I'll read them Thank off you. to you. I'm keeping track. Um, freebusy.com, Kirsty asks, um, freebusy.com, first of all, it's freebusy.io, isn't it? Is. it? Yes, it is. Freebusy.io, yeah. yes. And the question is, freebusy.io sounds much nicer than sending a doodle.com request. Oh, that was just a comment. Is freebusy the same as Pushbullet in terms of does everyone need to have the app? Okay, so um, I've been using, or I used to use Doodle for almost a decade. <laughs> it was really good in the 1990s. <laughs> maybe, maybe it was that old. Uh, it, and it still works really, really well, but it's a little bit dated. And I find that Free Busy is has a lot less friction. And no, it's not like Push Bullet. You don't have to have a, a uh, freebusy.io app installed on your device. Uh, they can go on their mobile just through uh, a web browser. They don't have to have an app, a mobile or a tablet, a Mac or PC, and it's super quick. Have a go. Just try it internally with friends and see if it works for you. I think you'll like it. The online reviews have been uh, fantastic. Anything else, Kimberly? Yes, a couple more questions, a couple of nice comments, brilliant tips, great session. Thanks, Greg. Um, Anne says, I find LastPass confusing to use. Are there any good YouTube tutorials for LastPass? Yes, there are fantastic YouTube videos. The ones that I would suggest that you get started with are in the LastPass YouTube channel. So start with the original uh, source, <laughs> that's LastPass, and then you'll find that there are a lot of happy technologists, uh, also uh, personal assistants, executive assistants, um, that have recorded videos as well, but find the LastPass, let's see if I can call it up here, LastPass channel, and it pops up right at the top. LastPass Password Manager is the name of the channel, and it looks like that. Oops, sorry about that. Pause. <laughs> Just pause that. Autoplay. Sorry, I didn't mean to blast your earphones. Um, there are the ads, but here are um, LastPass 101 quick tips for LastPass basics. For so, and I have to tell you. Uh, people consider me a bit of a technology whiz, but I didn't know how to install LastPass as an extension on my iOS device, so I watched a quick one-minute video, and it showed me instantly, oh, it's that simple. You know, guys, don't feel bad if you don't know how to do things. Nobody writes manuals anymore. If it wasn't for YouTube, we wouldn't know how to do anything. <laughs> anything else, Kimberly? Let's see. Free busy, what info? Ah, so if someone's using free busy and you send out a request, what other info, what, what info can other people see in your calendar? Um, they don't see any private information, just whether it's free or busy. So it's uh, completely uh, private. Um, you can also uh, choose uh, as I remember from using this recently, you can say these people are my family group and I, they can re I can show them that we've got soccer on the weekends, but for clients, uh, I just want them to block out my time, whether it's free or busy. Have a, have a look at that. It is try it yourself, you know, with family and friend before you 
uh, try it in a commercial setting, then you can find out a little bit how it works. Yeah, it's pretty fast. Uh, first time I did it, it took about 45 seconds. Next time I did it, it took about three seconds. Really, really nice. Okay, then. Last call, Kimberly. Any left? I believe I've caught all the questions in the chat and in the Q&A. So if I'm wrong, please speak up now in the chat window. Yes, last call. Last call. Love, love to answer any questions. And this session will be posted in the next couple days. It takes a little while to compress it and then upload it and then paste it on the EAN website. But you'll find that at, under uh, training. Is it online, tra online training? And then webinar series, isn't it, Kimberly? It's on at the top of the EAN website. I'll show it to you. It will be posted there. EAN. Yeah, I'll show you where the recording is posted. It's on the same page as the registration right next to, under training and education. And then webinar series. Oh, missed it. Webinar series. And then scroll to the bottom. And if you missed a previous one, there is a replay of the previous episodes. Thanks, everyone, for attending. Love to have you along next time. Tell anybody you know about it. Absolutely free to register. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the future. Thanks very much. Bye, everyone.